Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, and today I'd like to talk about thousand cankers disease, a disease that's becoming an increasing problem for California walnut growers, and wanted to talk specifically about how the spread of this disease may be influenced by other diseases in the orchard, such as crown gall. And here to talk about it is Steve Sabold, entomologist at UC Davis, and Elizabeth Fitchner from the UC Cooperative Extension. So thousand cankers disease is a disease of the phloem of walnut trees, and it's a fungal infection. It's vectored by a bark beetle called the walnut twig beetle. And we've learned in California that the walnut twig beetle occurs everywhere from San Diego County in the south all the way to the northern border in Siskiyou County. So it's a very widespread insect, always associated with walnut trees. The disease itself is prevalent within the walnut growing region. The county is from Tulare County, northern Kern County perhaps, all the way up towards Redding and Shasta County. So it's fairly widespread. It's already present in all of our, well, nearly all of our English walnut orchards. What we don't understand is the interactions of this disease with other diseases that may be predisposing the walnut trees. Diseases like crown gall, uh, shallow bark canker, deep bark canker. There's another disease called lethal paradox canker. And these diseases and other things weaken trees. And then the walnut twig beetle, which is a type of bark beetle that utilizes those trees by boring into them. And feeding in the phloem and vectoring thousand cankers disease. So that's the background of the disease in California. Okay. And one of the main challenges with this walnut twig beetle is that there, you can't use a chemical insecticides to manage the beetle. Uh, basically it's a beetle that bores into the tree in the phloem so it's somewhat protected. So putting a, a, a topical chemical on the surface of the tree is not effective. And some of those systemic insecticides um, that walnut growers do use for management of other insect pests are also not effective. And so um, really there's no chemical level of control for walnut twig beetle. Uh, future research will have to address um, things like using uh, repellents, for example, to keep them basically away from, the, from orchards. So right now, some of the work we've done is to find to determine like sanitation guidelines, um, things like when should you remove infected logs from walnut orchards or um, infested crown gall material that might be sitting there at the side of the orchard from trees that have been roved over time. And uh, basically because they serve as a source of infestation of the beetle. Right now we're seeing a, a lot of thousand cankers disease on trees that are infected with crown gall, which is a bacterium, a bacterial disease of trees and one thing that we're noticing is that that gall tissue seems to harbor uh, walnut twig beetle larvae and so it seems like the uh, insect is actually able to reproduce in the um, gall tissue. So basically uh, managing the uh, crown gall may actually prove helpful in managing thousand cankers disease or perhaps uh, lessening the incidence in the orchards. So things that might um, prevent crown gall, for example, is when you're establishing a new orchard, planting clean rootstock uh, trees that are not infected with this pathogen at planting. Thank you, Steve and Elizabeth. Read more about walnut pest and disease management in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.